So how do they manage to move their whole community? Even the dope addicts are gone. The Italian alcoholics are gone. But when we move out, it can't be a community move. It's one motherfucker, two motherfuckers, moving into a community that's predominantly white. Because they redlined your ass to death. So what we're dealing with right now is some bullshit. White people got up. You ever heard of white flight? White people, that's where white people decided we're not going to stay in these communities because black people are coming in. We're not going to stay in these inner cities because too many Hispanics are coming in. So they packed their shit up and they built totally new communities in the suburbs. New strip malls. That's why you see all these Walmart strip malls and Lowe's and all of that shit. That shit was built for them because they moved out. They built new high schools and shit. And Trenton, the high school is 80 years old. We haven't had a new high school built in Trenton since 1932. It's lead in the motherfucking water, lead in the paint, asbestos, chromium 6, all of that shit is in the building. And nobody's saying nothing. You know what I mean? Because white people got up and said, yo, we leaving this bitch, build new schools and shit. Now our kids are in these schools overcrowded. When the white people were there, it was like, Maximum a thousand kids in the school. Today in Trent Central High School is 2,500 kids. It's like 35, 40 kids per classroom. Shit, I saw the documentary on Douglas High down here. Uh, I mean, it's the same thing in every black community. You know what I mean? And that's because of the history. We're not paying attention to the fucking history. You know what I mean? So when I'm writing shit, I'm aiming past my hood. I mean, I'm not even writing for my hood. I don't care if a motherfucker say, yo, that nigga is on some conscious shit. We not on that. Nah, I don't, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not writing this for you, dude. I'm not writing this for you. I'm not writing this for anybody. I'm not writing this to save anybody. I mean, this shit is not even therapy for me. I mean, I'm writing this shit. I'm shooting this shit at the glow holders, the population controllers. The AIDS makers, dark nation depopulators, the content trainers, American Nazi bankers, the top bombers, right wing Al Qaeda sponsors, Hitler's accomplice, 9 11 mission accomplished, free your conscience, in ghettos they kill the prophets, the juggernauts, the alphabet cops, the CIA, FBI, the coca crops, imported to local blocks, the five years for the black to the month of the cracker gun, a powder pop, compared to a grill rock. Of the prison pop, the whacking huts, the correction corporation, the international Grand Parenthood Federation, the forced abortions, the forced sterilizations, the sons of Satan, Operation Depopulation, the diamond dealers, limb choppers and baby killers, the oil drillers, black nation resource stillers, the truth concealers, suppression of true gorillas, Patrice Lumumba, and Kruma Laura Kabila, the people traders, poor population enslavers, the black slash brown slash yellow unity haters, the black slash brown slash yellow baby cremators, the black slash brown slash yellow liberty waivers, eugenicists, world imperialists, evolutionists, black womb pollutionists, the euthanizers, the world health organizers, the virus writers, smallpox Ebola splices, the club of Rome, the world bank, the skull and bones, Allah from law engraved in the Pope's throne, the Reagan years, a luminous presidents, every since they've been facing the obelisk, the Kabbalists, Harry Potter is not a myth. Yeah. This ain't a radio, but this that shit. Yeah. I'm gonna leave y'all right there. Nah, 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 man. Come on, leave y'all right there. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Leave y'all right there. Oh, yeah. Harry Potter is not a myth. That's the one I need to resonate in your head. Oh. Harry Potter is not a myth. What? All right. The last Harry Potter is called what? Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. Barack Obama is a half blood prince. Pay attention. I love y'all though. But yo, I brought some CDs if y'all interested. Copper CD, 100% of all the proceeds of everything I do go to Intelligent Seeds, a youth program in my community that teaches the babies media. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to get rich and be on MTV Cribs off this shit. You know what I mean? So everything we do, you can go on, log on to the website, intelligentseeds.org. That's seeds with a Z. Everything we do, all the money goes back to the babies 100%. Word. All right? Word. This ain't my regular job. <laughs> Word. Word.
Oh, yeah. 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 